so let's discuss uh, previous year's gate questions okay on the fluid basics and fluid statics so these are the questions on fluid basics basically on the fluid properties and then on the statics part fluid statics the fluid on these let's discuss the gate questions so i have a gate 2004 question okay so let's write down an, in an incompressible fluid so in the bracket the kinematic viscosity 7.4 into 10 power minus 7 meter square per second the specific gravity 0.88 is held between two parallel plates if the top plate is moved with velocity of 0.5 meters per second while the bottom one is held stationary then the then fluid attains a linear velocity profile in the gap of point 5 mm between these plates and the shear stress in pascals the shear stress in pascals on the surface of top plate is okay so you are given with the four options let me write down that 0 0.651 into 10 power minus 3 0.651 C is 6.51 D is 0.651 into 10 power 3 ok so, you, so let me draw it you have a stationary plate the bottom one you have a top plate which is mo moving and in, in between you have a fluid and what he says is that it attains a linear profile ok and the gap length is given this is let's say H which is 0.5 mm and you are given with the kinematic viscosity nu the density the specific gravity is given the specific gravity is 0.88 so actual density is specific gravity into the density of water which is 1000 so 0.88 into 1000 that is 880 is the density of the fluid while the bottom one is stationary the fluid attains a linear velocity the shear stress okay the shear stress is basically mu into dv by d dv by dy which is basically this is how the shear stress varies i mean this is this has come from newtonian law for viscosity and if it is a linear profile so the way horizontal velocity varies with y is linear so it is v by h v by the gap y this comes from the linear profile variation linear profile variation okay so what is asked is the shear stress in the on the surface of the top plate so this is tau naught on the top plate basically shear stress is constant everywhere because dy by dy is constant v is some k times y and that is velocity at the top and y is h velocity the top and y is equal to h lost is let's say v naught so v naught is k h and k is v naught by h so v is v naught by h into y and when i do dv by dy it's v naught by h it is constant everywhere so v naught by h so let's write down mu is okay mu is dynamic viscosity that is nothing but kinematic viscosity into density to v naught by h 
so it's all direct problem 7.4 and 10.7 to 880 velocity is velocity is 0.5 meters per second by height is by height is 0.5 mm so 0.5 into 10 power minus 3 okay so this will come out to be 7.4 into 10 power minus 7 plus 7 into 880 and this value comes out to be so this comes out to be 0 0.6512 so 0 0.6512 pascals so the answer for this is b it's a straightforward problem on fluid basically on the fluid viscosity so let's discuss some co fluid questions on the fluid statics let's discuss k 2004 question on 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 the fluid statics so the pressure gauges the pressure gauges G1 and G2 installed on the system show pressure. So a figure is given. So I'll draw this. So the show pressures of PG1 is 5 bar. PG2 is 1 bar and the value of unknown pressure P is okay so you are given with a chamber okay on this you are given something like this this is G1 this is G2 and atmospheric pressure is 1.01 bar and the readings are given okay and this is the unknown pressure P that is what is asked so options are 1.01 bar B is B is your 2.01 bar your C is 5 bar and your D is 7.01 bar so now, okay, so what does PG1 shows? PG1 shows P, this pressure, let's, let's say the pressure here is P2. So PG1 will show P minus P2, the difference in the pressures on, on either side of the diaphragm. That is what the gauge pressure will show. See, the gauge pressure will show the pressure, the gauge pressure will always show if you have a keep a gauge here in this chamber gauge pressure will always show the the pressure which it is measuring where it is connected i mean let's say it is connected here minus the pressure of the ambient in which it is kept so the ambient in which is g1 is kept is p2 so this is the pressure where the knob is inserted and minus the pressure of the ambient on which the gauge is kept so p minus p2 is that is 5 bar okay now this g2 is in the knob is inserted in this chamber so it will show p2 minus the ambient in which it is kept it is kept in the atmospheric pressure so p0 okay and that is it is showing as one bar so you have one equation where p is p2 plus 5 bar from the first equation and from here p2 is 1 plus p0 p0 is atmospheric pressure and the value is 1.01 so this is 2.01 bar p2 and that if i substitute here it becomes 2.01 plus 5 so it's 7.01 bar answer is t so the only trick here is the gauge it whatever the gauge shows it shows the pressure